Hi, this is Gary from KDX Electronics. I'm the application engineer. Uh, today we'll be setting up a test. Uh, we'll initiate the C code for this particular battery, uh, do the hookup, and we'll start just a basic auto program. First thing we want to do is create a C code for this battery type. Under database, click on C code. This will open up the C code database window. On the left side, click on add. This will let you add new C codes to your database. The C code definition is divided into different chemistry types. You see that it's set for NICAD, nickel metal hydride, SLA, lithium or lithium polymer, lithium phosphate, and primary cells. For this sample, we'll be using a SLA battery. It's a 12 volt battery, so it works out to six cells. Seven amp hour battery. And all the other settings should be set by default. You have your charge rate, discharge rate, upper and lower temperature windows, uh, delta T, DT temperature termination, max charge voltage, and the discharge voltage, standby voltage, charge termination point, rapid charge voltage, tar target capacity, perform automatic ohm tests, your charge and discharge timeouts, a ohm test pass fail point, min and max safe operating voltages, and max safe charge and discharge current values. Now you also have a max operating temperature window. Once these are set, just enter in the battery model name. And save the C code. And save the C code. So once it's saved, you'll see that it's added to your database. So we're going to hook up the main test cable to the C8000. You should note that the main test connection, there is a key. So line up the key with the connector, slide it all the way in securely, and give it a slight twist until you hear a click. So once that's set up, just hook up the alligator clips to the battery itself. Keep the thermo <laughs> and keep the temperature sensor somewhere on top of the battery. Once it's connected, you'll notice that on the C1000, there'll be a voltage reading for channel one, the channel data connecting to you. And in battery lab, the corresponding station will have a voltage value showing. There's two ways to start the test. Highlight the station and select test battery. Or just right click on the station and select test battery. Both options will give you the test battery startup screen. From here, you can select the C code and the test program that you want to run. And the test program that you want to run. Make a note. When you select the C code, the right side will show you a breakdown of C code being used. Make sure this matches up with the battery being tested. Once that's verified, hit the OK button and it'll start testing. So from the software, you can see that this uh, battery has finished. Uh, there's a red indicator here which shows that this battery actually failed the uh, program. Uh, you can pull up the results on the right side. And the last one would be that test. So you can see that this battery failed uh, based on capacity. It got 78% on the first run and 75% on the second run.